One of the most confusing things about football, especially when you're just starting to get into the sport, is where are all these guys standing and why are they there and what are the different positions um, that we have. And so that's what I want to take a look at in this video. Um, if you are afraid of geometry, you don't need to be because um, we aren't going to get any more complicated than the X's and the O's. Um, so the, the O's represent the guys on offense, the X's are the guys on defense. And so we'll take a look at each of them here. Um, the first thing to notice is that there's kind of a line here separating uh, the, the offense and the defense. And that is because the ball um, typically will be or it will be placed um, in the middle here. So this, the ball is in the middle and it is separated by this line. The offense of guys cannot uh, go past this line and nor can the defense of guys go over this line where they would be um, considered offside. And so this line, the yellow line, is called the line of scrimmage. So the line of scrimmage um, separates the offense from the defense, um, that is where the ball is. So first let's take a look at the guys on offense. And so that's these O's down here. And the offense will start uh, with the, the offensive line. So that's these orange guys here. This is the offensive line. As you can see, there are five um, guys in the offensive line. Uh, the man in the middle is fittingly, he is called the center, and the center is going to be the man who snaps the ball back to the quarterback. Quarterback. So we'll get back to him in a second. The quarterback is the guy there, the gray guy standing behind the center. On either side of the center, uh, the we have the our other offensive line. And so on the left side, we have our left guard uh, who stands right beside the center to his left and then we're going to have the left tackle. Um, so this is different tackle than what we'll be talking about soon as far as tackling a player that's just the name of his position and so you probably um, guess on this side to the right of the center we have our right guard and then on the outside we have our right tackle. And so these offensive linemen, their job is to stand there and to prevent the defense from from getting to the quarterback because the quarterback's going to have the ball. So we'll see the defense is going to want to tackle or, or to pull down the, the guy who has the ball. So these offensive linemen, they're usually big guys. Um, so their job is to stop the defense from getting to the ball, to getting to the quarterback. So those are five offensive linemen. As we said, right behind the offensive line is the quarterback. Uh, the center is going to snap the ball back to the quarterback. And so then the quarterback has a decision. He can either pass the ball or he can hand off the ball. Um, so what he would do for a handoff, he would turn uh, to one of these guys behind him. And so back here, there's two kind of um, misnamed guys. We have the fullback and the halfback, although as you can see, uh, perhaps you might think they're backwards because you think the fullback would be further back than the halfback, but that's not the case. Um, that's just the, the, the way they are named. So either way, these guys are considered running backs. Um, and so if the, the quarterback does decide to hand the ball off, he will turn around with the ball, hand it off. Usually um, it can be, be to either guy. And uh, typically, though, it will be to the halfback, um, and he will run with the ball. If he does, if the quarterback does decide to pass, he can pass um, to one of these guys. So the two guys way out on the end are the wide receivers. So this guy over here, he'll be the wide receiver on this side. The man on the left is another wide receiver on the left side. Um, and then our final guy, who's standing kind of, he's probably, um, in actuality, he's, he's closer to the line. But this guy is called the tight end. 
and so sometimes he will run um, and receive. Other times, he's kind of a, a sixth offensive lineman uh, blocking. These are all of the positions on offense. Now, um, I don't know if I said it or not, but there are 11 guys, both on offense and defense, and it's really not required that they line up in this um, format. Typically, this is the, the, the ones you'll see, but it's not required. So, uh, say sometimes we'll have the, the wide receiver, he'll be out further. Maybe instead of a tight end, we'll have a third wide receiver, and he'll line out, line up um, over here, close to the wide receiver. Uh, so we'll have we you could have three wide receivers and no tight end on the field, um, or maybe you have only one um, running back, and 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 one of these guys is free to move up to become uh, maybe a second tight end, or even a third wide receiver. So. 11 guys, but they can exchange, um, they can run on or off the field uh, between each play. So it doesn't even have to be uh, the same as what you did the last play. So those are our offensive positions. Moving to defense now, we're going to see opposite the offense on the line of scrimmage. They're lined up in a little different way because uh, their goal is to try to, to stop to tackle these guys on the offense, whoever has the ball. And so again, this is uh, just like the offense, they're not required to line up in this way, but this they are currently lined up in what is called a 4-3, 4-3 defense. And so let's look at where these numbers come from. The four will come, or the first number comes from the line. So these guys here, this is the defensive line. Defensive line. Right behind, as you can see, there's four guys, so that's where we get the four. And then there's three guys behind them. And if you guess this is where the three comes from, you would be correct. So four defensive linemen, three linebackers, because they're behind the lines. So these are the linebackers. Um, so this this is where you get the four, uh, three, and then on both sides, uh, usually defending our wide receivers here, we have the corner backs. He's a corner back, and this guy opposite him is also a corner back, not to be confused with a, a quarterback. These are corner backs. And then these two guys back here, Usually pretty fast guys. Um, these are the safeties. And so uh, sometimes you'll have what is called a strong safety. And the other guy, um, he will be a what is known as a free safety. Free safety. And so Again, this is not the, the required way that these guys line up. Just like offense, they have some leeway in how they want to position their players. So can the defense. Uh, the s other common way that you might see guys line up instead of a 4-3 a is a 3-4 defense, which would simply mean um, that one of the, the, not one of the linebackers, one of the linemen, he will actually move back, and so you will have then three linemen, and they would move over in the middle there. Um, and then you would have four linebackers, so that would be the three four defense then. Um, and really, these guys can stand wherever they want. Sometimes you'll see these guys come up here closer to the line. Um, so this is technically you still have um, four linebackers there and three defensive linemen, but. Overall, these is the, that's the basic layout of the the position. So you have your safeties in the back, linebackers, your defensive line, your two cornerbacks then on defense, and your guys on offense. Again, either team can swap players between each play if they want to. There's really no requirement of any um, one guy standing in any one place, so they can you can really move around, uh, run around, try to confuse the offense, but we'll get into that 
we'll talk about some more of the strategy involved in the game.